we'll see the Charlotte Bobcats facing the Memphis Grizzlies. With you for this installment of 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg to bring you all the action. So let's take a look at the State Farm starting five for the Charlotte Bobcats. Augustine and Henderson are the backcourt pair. Diaw and Brown are up front for them. And it's Maggetti in at the three spot. And for the Grizzlies, Allen and Gayon in the perimeter. Randolph and Gasol together inside. And it's Conley in at the point. Now here's Gasol. Using his post moves to get the two points. And they get on the board first. Looking to set the tone early. You know, for the Bobcats, they just weren't able to force many turnovers at the defensive end. And, you know, it was kind of a wait-and-see defensive approach for them last year all season long. Here's Maggetti. The Grizzlies on offense. Let's now go to Doris Burke over across the way. who spoke with Lionel Hollins, and uh, Doris, take it away. And guys, he didn't want to minimize the importance of defense, but he did say that a good performance offensively is the main priority. If they get that, he said, they'll be able to put up with any shortcoming defensively. Let's see how it plays out, Kevin. Thanks for filling us in there, Doris. Thank you so much. Getting their offense sorted out is the priority here, guys. And I agree. I mean, a good call, I think. Try to get into a rhythm early and get everybody involved. Let everybody touch it and go from there. Yes, exactly, Clark. you got to establish a few different scoring options as soon as possible. Get everyone involved and, and, and find that pace, that groove you're looking for as a team. Bobcats making a switch here. Thomas has checked in. Hits the jump hook. Now they finally connect with their fourth shot of the game. Here are the Grizzlies with the ball. Conley dishes to Randolph. Thomas is there. Randolph against Thomas. And another miss by Memphis. And so here is Charlotte. Boy, how about the leadership that Zach Randolph showed in the playoffs last season? I thought he really picked it up, not only in his production, but it was clear when you watched him interact with his teammates that he was a guy that they were looking to for leadership. Here's Augustine, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. Back to Randolph again, Clark, 22 points, almost 11 rebounds in the Grizzlies' two playoff series a season ago. Stevie really became a part of the entire NBA postseason story with what he and his team did. Yeah, big time, Kevin. I mean, especially in that first round going up against Tim Duncan uh, and, and San Antonio, that upset was due in large part to the play of Randolph. So, I mean, he is a legitimate star. He's a force to be reckoned with down on the block. Stolen by Randolph. He did what he could to try to handle that pass, but that was too hard to handle. They've got to score quickly. He had no time to waste at all. Takes it up. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. That wasn't an easy call, but I think it was the right one. Looked like he got hit on the way up. Yes, sir. Clearly gets him while he's releasing the ball there, Steve. No doubt about it. Eight seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. And fouling now is really your only option. And you just got to hope he misses the free throw so you can get back in the game, Steve. Sinks the second, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Talk about a clutch free throw, Cap. That one just might have sealed the game. And the Bobcats call time here. They're losing by four. Six seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? Well, what they'd like to do is get a quick shot and then go for the foul. And then they've got to hope to see for some missed free throws as well. Here's Henderson. Augustine from outside. Good work defensively by Conley. So a close game sees Memphis take this one. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail bite. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Rudy Gay.
little, let it go, go, breathe a little, just let it, let it, let it breathe a little, stop and just let it breathe a little. Can't do it without though. 